Hello everybody. Today I wanted to make a video showing you how to test your loom to see if the tabby jack will work with it. So what you're going to need to do is cut a piece of paper so that it's two by two inch square and then draw a line um, three quarters of an inch in. And what this is going to do is give you roughly an idea of how much clearance you're going to need on your loom for the um, washer to fit without bumping into anything like this um, pawl right here, um, and how much space the tabby jack will need if you use the lowest set of holes, um, again, without bumping into anything like, like this right here. So I'm gonna use the samplet because um, the samplets, uh, the tabby jack works on one side and not on the other because um, the way the samplet's made is there's a ratchet and pawl on one side and not the other. So I thought it would be a good example because we can see both. So what you're going to want to do first is take your piece of paper and see if you can find a spot behind the heddle block where this square will fit on your loom without bumping into anything. And as you can see here, this fits quite nice right there without messing anything. The second thing you need to see is if the area above this um, square right here is flat. And as you can see here on the sample, it is not. Um, but that's okay, because that's again where this line comes into play. You're gonna fold along that line and see if you can get the corners right here to touch um, along that curve so that the piece of paper is flat like that rather than like that where it's not um, level. If you can right there, then excellent. Um, the tabby jack will work because as you see here, this is giving you the spacing of the holes. And um, you can see that when I kind of put the holes down right there, the tabby jack is nice and level right here. It's not at an angle. Um, so on this side, the tabby jack will work. In fact, as you can see here, we've got lots of clearance. We've got clearance there all the way down to the bottom of the loom. Now something to keep in mind too, is let's say your loom isn't as thick as this. Let's say it's this thick where you see um, that there's a bit kind of above or below where the, um, the paper fits. That's okay too. What that means though is that um, you, you won't be able to use your loom against a table because the tabby jack's gonna stick down a little bit. Um, so if that's okay with you, if you mainly use it um, either propped against a table right here or on a stand, again, this not having enough clearance down here isn't gonna be an issue. Okay, so back over here, um, we know that we've cleared this, this side of the frame right here that we know that the tabby jack's gonna fit here. So at that point, what we have to do is flip the loom over and see if the washer will fit. So again, this, this upper part right here is to test for the washer. And what you have to do is just make sure that that washer um, can go in right there and fit and not hit anything. And as you see right here, this is not hitting anything right now. So that will work perfectly fine. Then what you're gonna wanna do is check the other beam of, or, um, side of your loom and see if the same is true in the same place on this side. And what you can see here with the sample very quickly is unfortunately it's not true because here um, this, um, the paper is, is bumping into the pawl mechanism here. So um, I, I played around a bit to see um, on this particular loom if there was another place I could put it that is behind the heddle block. So this is, again, the older version of the samplet loom, and you can see that it has um, a rest uh, spot right here for the heddle, and then the up and the down. So I thought, okay, well, I know it doesn't fit here, but can I get it to fit behind where the heddle's used when you actually weave? And this, um, I don't have a cricket here to show you, but that, that's where you'd put the tabby jack on a cricket is right over the, the rest block. Um, unfortunately though, if I flip to the other side here, maybe you can see, um, if I kind of line it just like that so that it's right flush up against there, um, and put it down level with the top of the frame, you can see how there's a little bit of that paper 
hanging out right here. And that, even though it's minuscule, it's just enough so that when I use the tried to use the tabby jack up here, um, the tabby jack naturally has some spring to it as you use it. So that little bit of spring or that little bit of piece of paper that's sticking out there was just enough so that when I used um, the tabby jack, occasionally, not always, but enough to be annoying, the tabby jack would go and slide down this little hill and I'd have to pull it back up and readjust the rubber band. So um, I guess you could say that the tabby jack will work with this loom, the sample, if you're willing to, to deal with a little bit of headache. Um, I uh, developed and invented, I guess you could say, um, the tabby jack to try to save myself um, headache. So I, I don't recommend you use it with with this loom. Now, again, this is the older version of the sample. So if you have a newer one and you want to see if there, there is a space kind of behind that front heddle block on the second one to maybe fit, you can. Um, I don't have a newer one to test it on. I'm just assuming that the um, size is fairly similar and that it won't work, but um, you can test it. And if it does work, let me know, because that would be great to update the website um, as such. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, you're gonna wanna make a piece of paper that is two inch square, mark a line, um, three-fourths of the way in so that you have an idea of how much clearance the washer needs, which is this right here, and how much clearance if you use the bottom holes on the tabby jack it needs, which again is the square. And if you notice, the square is slightly bigger than the tabby jack, and that's to account for the fact that there is a little bit of spring side-to-side -side motion um, as, you, as you use it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful, and um, good luck, everybody. All right.